Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Space Ghost Daily TV. And we're live on location here with the mayor of uh, Melbourne, Paul Alfrey. And as you can see behind us, you can just barely see, we're going to give you some more details in a moment. The mayor and the city of Melbourne, the police department, are working actively to remove a very large encampment down on the riverbank here in uh, North Harbour City Boulevard. Mayor, welcome to Space Ghost Daily. Hey, Dad, thank you for having me, John. Mayor, tell us, um, tell us what's happened here and what led you to take the initiative to get this thing cleaned up. Well, we've had numerous complaints coming in over the encampment here behind us um, from business owners, uh, from people on the water that could actually see it growing. Uh, it, it became very large. Uh, there were uh, um, just numerous rooms, a lot of debris. Uh, some of the business owner, owners here on US-1 were complaining that property and, and lumber and, and microwaves, all that stuff was placed at their business and being run across the road. Uh, and today, now that we're in the second day to clean up, yep. um, the second day to clean up, we've, we've uh, located formaldehyde bottles, so we've called wow. in uh, the uh, county hazmat team. Okay. About, uh, do you have a feel for about how many people were living down here on the riverbank? Uh, I'm not sure on that, probably uh, uh, at least a couple, uh, but uh, we posted it, we went through the legal process, we posted it, uh, and that, that time of course is up and, and all the stuff is being taken out. Uh, personal property is stored as required by law uh, for, a, uh, for a term, and then uh, we're gonna clean up the embankment and continue to clean up our beautiful city because I'm very concerned that once you get down there and see the magnitude of this and the garbage and the trash, frankly, I'm not going to have Melbourne become a San Francisco. Exactly. Uh, we all know what that means. And uh, as you can see behind us, it's quite an operation. The, uh, they've got the road sort of reduced in traffic lanes down, maybe 2,000 feet to the south. Yeah. A lot of personnel out here, but it must be quite a legal undertaking and maybe somewhat frustrating to be able to have to come out here and clean this mess up, Mayor. Well, and I understand the uh, our resident frustration, especially on the water when you see just a large encampment. And, and you know, they have a, uh, a a septic system that they made at going into the lagoon. And, and, you know, I'm a big advocate for the, the Indian River Lagoon like you are, uh, Giles, and, and all our residents are. So really, this is unnecessary. And, when you look at the, the, the way the, the structure was built and the lumber and, and the engineering done, it's crazy because I have residents that have a hard time getting a building permit. And then you have some people just going on the riverbank to build a fortress and you know, with, that's not acceptable. Yeah, we're gonna take you down there in just a moment, folks, show you the, uh, the amount of uh, work that has to be done to remove this waste that was pouring into the lagoon, human waste, like you said, you, you were being, uh, you know nice when you said the sewer system yeah basically the, nice. the stuff was nice. pouring into the lagoon from folks illegally living on the riverbank here making a, a large actual structure yeah. looks like something out of brazil down in rio de janeiro yeah, we're not yeah. going to have that here in melbourne though no, are we? we're not don't don't san francisco my melbourne here we are well we're going to take you over there in just a moment folks we're going to follow the merits uh we're going to get across the street so bear with us we're going to show you uh the the level of uh of cleanup that's being done here in the city of melbourne mayor thanks very much and we'll just follow you over there now. There we are, folks. This is the view going to the south. That's US-1. And this is the amount of work that's being done, undertaken here. You'll be a bit careful walking this road here. As you can see, uh, this is the, uh, the river. In the River Lagoon, we're almost down across from K9 campus here. And uh, this is the mess that is being left here by folks just deciding to build their own home here on the banks of the beautiful Indian River Lagoon. Check it out. This is the view here. We're uh, right here on the riverbank. As you can see, the uh, city staff, they have a big excavator here. Uh, this, uh, this structure was uh, constructed, two by fours, plywood, right on the rocks here. They had their own little uh, piece of paradise set up here on the banks of the Indian River Lagoon in Melbourne. Taking some time, but the authorities are now getting the uh, trash and the uh, refuse removed. A lot of people out here, a lot of city staff on taxpayers' dimes having to clean this up, but it has to be done as the mayor said.
We're with uh, Paul, Mayor Paul Alfrey down here on the banks of the Indian River Lagoon. As you can see behind me there, the mayor is, uh, is here with the rest of the team. And they're working to clean it up. Of course, homelessness is a uh, real problem. And uh, obviously this, uh, this problem has to be addressed so folks who are homeless can find uh, reasonable places to live and I'm sure there's resources available to these folks but this is certainly not the answer taking and building your own structure on the sides of the Indian River Lagoon. Looks like a living room, kitchen, somewhat of a, uh, a bedroom area but just a massive amount of trash being picked up. Now Mayor if I could uh, just kind of get, get in front of me there Mayor, I just want to ask you a little bit more about this. So as far as the, uh, the amount of time this has taken to uh, get this done and the legal, the hoops and dupes you had to jump through, how long has it taken? Well, we, as, you, as you can see on the, on the uh, post, uh, our sign is a 30 day posting uh, for the eviction. Uh, and then from there, uh, once that was done, we went through the process of uh, now approving it, calling the contractor, setting up the ability to put a plane. Okay, and as far as um, resources for these folks to get some sort of assistance right. if they need it, how do they go about doing that? Well, we actually are police officers uh, when, they, uh, when they initially approached and, and, and spoke with, with the uh, residents here, uh, all, uh, they refused all assistance from our community partners like Daily Bread, uh, said how they refused all that. That was captured on our police body cameras as well. So. Uh, you can't make people want help, and, and they they were uh, adamant they wanted to be left alone and build as they wanted to, and, and this is what we got. Okay. This is not the place to do it. It's not safe. It's not sanitary, certainly, and uh, a lot of, lot of people involved in this cleanup. What other folks have uh, helped make this uh, make this happen, would you say? Well, besides our, our, our Melbourne team, the uh, solid waste, uh, our different streets and storm water that we have, our independent contractors that also come, to, come out to help as right. well. Uh, they, they've helped us as well. Our police department's on scene for the traffic, uh, so it, it's a pretty quite of a big quite a big operation that, that we've had to undertake here. Sure. And uh, as far as the actual waste that was flowing to the lagoon, uh, can you give us a bit more detail on that? How many uh, how many families were living down here? Any of that uh, information? That I'm not sure. The police department would have that. Uh, we've been focusing on on trying to set the logistical parts up, uh, but it was definitely a. Uh, Definitely a major issue, especially when you think about now we're in hurricane season. Um, being in hurricane season and having the uh, storm possibly approaching, all this stuff would end up on US-1 or in, in the Indian River Lagoon. So that's a very concerning as well. Not to mention, you can't just go on somebody's property or, or, or a uh, you know a park or something and build a structure and live. That That's not how it works. And who actually owns this property that we're standing on? Well, this section part is the city of Melbourne. Uh, this this is uh, part of a property that the city owns on the embankment. Uh, there have been plans on here for a boardwalk uh, down the road, and and uh, with you know this is something again. This is this is only uh, we have to tackle this and, and not not allow it to get worse. Okay, worse. sure. And um, <clears throat> as far as other places possibly where this is an issue in the city of Melbourne, what other areas are uh, of concern? Well, there, you know, we'll, you know, if this pops up somewhere else, we're going to have to address that uh, as well. You know, you have some people says, you know, you shouldn't even, uh, you, you should leave it alone. Well, you just don't leave it alone because it's not going to get better. You know, you don't. That's not how you fix uh, the issues. And and again, we're we're going to have a zero tolerance on on, uh, you know, this kind of just encampments and building structures up on the river. And and that that's going to that's my policy from day one, and I'll continue with that policy. There is, folks. That's the uh, situation down here in Melbourne with Mayor Paul Alfrey. The uh, encampment on the river is being cleaned up, and they're working on the program to address other concerns in the city in a like manner. So Space Coast State on location with Mayor Paul Alfrey in the city of Melbourne.